Now, Gambia's health officials expressed concern over the low turnout of non-communicable diseases patients at health facilities. Health officials in the Gambia are worried at the low turnout at treatment facilities by non-communicable diseases patients. This is because diabetes and hypertension patients are afraid of contracting the coronavirus in their respective treatment facilities, according to health officials. In 2017, Gambia's Directorate of Health Promotion and Education set in motion a three-year project aimed at reducing the prevalence of non-communicable diseases like diabetes and hypertension through awareness raising. Officials monitoring the progress of this project found out in July a significant drop in the number of diabetes and hypertension patients reporting to treatment facilities. According to a senior program officer at the Directorate of Health Promotion and Education, Sirifo Singate, the World Health Organization standard, uh, standard profile, uh, standard profile rather, highlights that the current prevalence of diabetes and hypertension in the Gambia is at 6 and 12 percent respectively. Now, Dr. Suleiman Jaite of the Gambia Medical Research Council told I Africa's Amadou Kante on Monday that the impact it could have both for health facilities and the private sector is greater. Uh, uh, it, it is both on both sides, anyway, mm -hmm. with the patients and also the health uh, sector. Mm -hmm. uh, starting with the patient, um, they, uh, it will just aggravate the, the, the patient's problems, especially if it is I mean, a diabetic patient mm -hmm. um, can obviously develop complications if uh, at any point in time it's not um, controlled. Uh, and then uh, also um, if it is a hypertensive likewise the complications likewise can be a factor on the patient aspect um, if they don't uh, visit the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, on the health facility, um, which includes the, the health personnel, um, the after effect uh, of COVID, I mean, when obviously uh, we uh, actually control the pandemic or or it comes to a halt, what will happen is that uh, there will be an influx of some um, patients um, with uh, already complicated diabetes or hypertension, and uh, which will have a great impact on the health sector, thereby making it so difficult for I men to manage. And uh, we will end up having lots of casualties um, or, 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 or disabled. Uh, people, because if either we, for example, in the case of a diabetic foot, we will end up, I mean, amputating the patient, like, or, or somewhere, thereby disabling the person, because we won't have any choice. I mean, if it, if it is already, I mean, uh, severe, and uh, for a hypertensive who obviously end, ends up having a, a stroke, will end up having the, uh, either being bedridden or actually having paralysis. Uh, so these are some of the um, other things um, that will, will run, really. All right. Uh, interesting, uh, Doctor. Now, how um, serious can this be to a country like the Gambia, considering the situation we are going through right now? Well, I mean... Uh, on a serious note, it will it will be of great impact. Uh, looking at the the health sector, I mean how how our health system is, um, <clears throat> we will find it very very difficult to really manage such such situation. And uh, if it continues in that form, I mean looking at the capacity, the the the, the capacity and also patient doctor ratio. I mean, all these things are, I mean, factors that we need to put into consideration and that it, it will be of great impact. Thirdly, uh, uh, we are not really equipped anyway as 
as um, health facilities. And uh, with certain complications that may arise, we will end up um, in having uh, lots of difficulties managing 